Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2023 Mercedes EQB walk around and review, and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The new EQB is closely related to the Mercedes-Benz GLB. The EQB builds off the GLB's body structure, adapting it for use on an electric car. Like the GLB, the EQB features an 111-inch wheelbase and optional third-row seating. The EQB's interior looks very similar to that of its gas-powered sibling. However, it features a distinct design front and rear with a more futuristic feel. How much space does the EQB offer? The EQB offers five seats in standard configuration. However, an anticipated optional third row should boost maximum passenger capacity to seven. Although Mercedes says the third row will offer enough space for people up to 5 feet 4 inches tall, it's likely to be a tough squeeze for many, especially considering how scrunched the second row is due to the raised floor height. Mercedes says there are 41.1 inches of legroom up front and 38.1 inches in the second row, but it still feels snug. There's a spacious cargo area with 22.0 cubic feet when the back seats are up. Flipping them down opens up 62.0 cubes. How powerful is it? The base EQB300 uses a dual motor setup and features standard all-wheel drive. It produces a combined 225 horsepower and 288 lbft of torque. The range-topping EQB350 has more powerful motors to the tune of 288 horsepower and 384 lbft of torque. Mercedes says 0 to 60 miles per hour for the entry-level model is 7.0 seconds, while our test team measured a 5.6 second time from the top-shelf version. What's it like to drive an EQB? In our first drive of the European Spec 2023 EQB 350 with 4MATIC all-wheel drive, the compact SUV drove like a mini luxury car. It's well-equipped and well-finished and was unexpectedly enjoyable to pilot. The two-motor EV provided tons of traction, and its braking was smooth and linear, even with a regenerative braking system. Its ride was quiet and comfortable, and steering was nicely weighted and direct. We found the slightly less powerful EQB300 to be plenty quick, and just as quiet and composed as its pricier sibling. The new entry-level EQB250 Plus model joins the lineup for 2023. It comes with a single 188 horsepower electric motor that drives the front wheels and delivers a longer 250 mile driving range. Mercedes Benz says there are no changes to the EQB300 or EQB350 models this year. The EQB is offered in three forms, but they're all similar. The one that strikes us as the best balance is the 225 horsepower EQB300, which is said to offer up to 242 miles of range per charge. We'd spring for the loaded pinnacle trim level, as it amps up the luxury with a panoramic sunroof and a high-end Burmester stereo system. EV motor, power, and performance. The entry-level model is the EQB250 Plus that features a 188 horsepower electric motor and is front-wheel drive. Stepping up to the EQB300 unlocks all-wheel drive and a slightly more powerful 225 horsepower electric powertrain. However, if you want the quickest EQB, you'll have to go with the dual motor EQB350 that makes 288 horsepower. The EQB shares chassis components with the gas burning GLB, but it's considerably heavier, giving it a more settled ride. During our brief drive in the EQB350, it felt quicker than the GLB250 and more on par with the 302 horsepower AMG GLB35. At our test track, the EQB350 hit 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, a half second behind the GLB35, but slightly quicker than the Audi Q4 e-tron. Fuel economy and real-world MPGU. The EQB350 is rated at up to 98 MPGU city and 93 MPGU highway, per the EPA, 